What's up guys? Welcome back once again in this new review. Another Eat Special list video. And once again, I have curated uh, around like 12 perfumes, uh, especially for the occasion of Eid. Uh, the difference here is that the first video, uh, which I have uploaded before this review, uh, those scents were like uh, uh, more likable, more pleasant and more crowd pleaser kind of scents. But here, this is a collection uh, which uh, you can say is having a polarizing kind of uh, uh, percentage. Few people, they like it. Uh, people like me who are in this uh, in this hobby of perfumery from a long time, they're going to love it, who like this complex Middle Eastern type of hard hitters, uh, these type of perfumes, they're going to love this list. Uh, but some people who are more into designer type of scents, they may not like it. So if you are someone like me who like these kind of a Middle Eastern type of hard hitter, strong, complex kind of scents, and they don't uh, uh, give a shit for anyone else, and they just use perfumes for their own, a player for their own sake, uh, then this is a video for you. So once again, uh, some of the fragrances have already reviewed by me. You can check uh, the reviews on my channel. Uh, for the other perfumes, you can go on YouTube and you will find a few reviews on YouTube, or you can find some information on uh, you can say on Google or Fragrantica. So let's start a review. And once again, I'm just going to show you the fragrances and we will not go in the deep details. And this is once again, a fun type of video, just a list. And I have curated around 12 perfumes here uh, with one, you can say honorable mention because that perfume is discontinued. And I'm not sure if it's still available in the shops. I have called a shop near me and they told me that they don't have it anymore. It's out of stock and it's discontinued. So, but in any case, I'm going to show you that perfume. So if you can find it, uh, check it out. And if you can grab one bottle, uh, it's not very expensive and you're going to like it. Maybe in some countries it's still available. So let's start the list. And the perfume I have here in the beginning is an honorable mention. And this is a perfume from the house of Al Haramain. And this is Oud Mahabba. Oud of love or Oud for love. Uh, very tacky kind of presentation. The cap is very cheap, but forget about the presentation. Let's talk about the fragrance. Once again, this is a very long lasting perfume. And the first thing you get here is very strong, sweet saffron. And incense notes, few Oud here in the base. I have already recorded a detailed review of this video, but I never edited it and I have never uploaded it because uh, it doesn't make any sense if the perfume is not available in the market anymore. Uh, so this is our honorable mention, very long lasting, extremely beast kind of projection here, four to five sprays and you are going to kill anyone around you. And especially for religious kind of activities, if you are going in the mosque for Eid prayer or Juma prayer, you are going to love it. People around you, they're also going to love it. Very sweet Middle Eastern type of concoction but sadly it's discontinued this was honorable mention here and now let's start our list so at number one i have the most famous uh, fragrance uh, from uh, last few months and here i'm talking about blue oud from the house of ibrahim al Qureshi. a detailed review of this perfume is available on my channel and you can check it out and this is an amazingly good scent oud strong hard leather and strong incense smoky incense this is a short description of this perfume extremely long lasting and projects like a beast so this is blue wood from the house of ibrahim al Qureshi. and at number two i have one of my most 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 favorite and this is from the house of abdul samad al Qureshi, and i love this perfume this is safari extreme from the house of abdul samad al Qureshi. a beautiful leather and vanilla based scent and it smells divine beautiful scent and this is a quality which you can expect only from abdul samad al Qureshi. so this was safari extreme at number two and number three a cheapy and but it's one of a beast kind of perfume. And here I have, once again, a fragrance from Al Haramain. And this is Khulasat Al Oud. Very smoky and smoky, spicy, leathery kind of scent with some hints of Oud here and there. And I have already reviewed this perfume in detail. You can find it on my channel. And this is a perfume which is going to suit uh, Leonidas from the movie 300. This is that kind of scent, you know? 
animalic, leathery, and smoky, a smoke bomb. So this is Kulasat Al Oud and performs like a beast. And now at number three, I have a perfume once again from the house of Abdul Samad Al Qureshi. And here is Al Qureshi Night Intense. And this is the rose based scent, but it smells so good. It's musky. There are some florals in the back, and then there are some wood in the back. Smells so nice and it projects like a beast. You may get a nose blind by this perfume, but people around you will be able to smell it easily and a very long lasting scent. And now let's jump to the next perfume. And now, once again, this is a perfume from my own brand. And this is one of uh, the finest fragrance from my brand, Sesame Perfumes. I got like three uh, perfumes in my collection. And this is uh, one of the, the most liked scent or you can say uh, one of my best seller and here i'm talking about dionysus from the house of sesmir perfumes and this is you can say inspired by by kilian's a white crystal straight to heaven and wow boozy rum with a lot of woods cedar wood patchouli and Amber and so many things, so many other things going on here in this perfume. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to review it very soon. And now let's jump to our next perfume, which is from the house of Swiss Arabian, a very new launch. I have reviewed this perfume a uh, few days back, and you can find a detailed review on my channel. It's already uploaded. And here I'm talking about Shagaf Oud Azraq, or you can say Blue Oud, from the house of Swiss Arabian. And once again, a beautiful. Oud, honey, and uh, you can say uh, spicy kind of concoction here. A beautiful blend. Go and watch my review if you are interested in this uh, perfume. A very nice and amazing scent with really blue feel, with a Coca Cola kind of vibe here. Uh, check my review if you are interested and if you want uh, to have a detailed review of this perfume. The next one here is from the house of Nabil, and this is from their Master Perfumer collection a new newly launched release a newly launched collection and i'm talking about al bashik here you can find detailed review on my channel and once again a beautiful scent leathery oody uh, sweet incensey uh, a truly masterpiece kind of scent and it's not going to cost you a lot very affordable but very complex and this is not for everyone. All these perfumes are not for everyone. Uh, these perfumes are for some special people, some uh, special people like us. So give it a try. And this perfume is selling like a hot cake now after my review is out of stock on the website of Nabil. Uh, this one and even uh, three to four fragrances which I have reviewed, they are all out of stock, but uh, I think you can uh, be able to buy these perfumes in few weeks. They're going to restock it because this is one of their newly launched perfumes, newly launched products. So Al Bashik. And now let's jump on the next perfume. And this is once again from the same line, master perfume collection from the same house, Nabil perfume. And this is a very difficult, complex and polarizing kind of scent. Someone like me is going to love it, but maybe there are some people who are going to hate it. But for me, this is a masterpiece. And then I'm talking about Crown of Emirates. I have uploaded this review on my channel uh, in the last week. Go check it out if you want to know more about this scent. And here it's, wow, it's so unique. There are some fruits. There is a very unique note of papyrus, some woods, bamboo wood uh, kind of feel, an amazing complex and a very unique type of scent. Give it a try and <laughs> if you like complex type of scents, if you like niche uh, type of scents, you are going to love it. And uh, check out my review if you are interested in it. And now another perfume here is once again from the house of Al Haramain. And the review of this perfume is going to be uploaded uh, maybe today in the night or maximum by tomorrow. And once again, this is a hidden gem and here I'm talking about portfolio floral sculpture and amazing scent i'm not going to tell you more about this perfume otherwise you're not going to watch my review so <laughs> i watch my review uh, today or tomorrow and you will be able to get more information about the scent but this is something very nice give it a try and then now i have once again a beast and 
an untamed beast and this is from the house of ajmal and here i'm talking about mukhallat al shams and once again this is a hardcore hard hitter type of scent florals and pure dahan al oud pure classic middle east type of oud here wow i have reviewed this perfume on my channel you can find a detailed review have a look at it if you are interested and you are going to like it if you love oud now the next perfume here at number 11 is from the house of ahmed al maghribi and once again this is one of their best selling product and here i'm talking about bin sheikh and i was the one who hyped this perfume and now a lot of people in india pakistan bangladesh are using it and they are loving it and a beautiful scent once again you can find a detailed review on my channel a very beautiful concoction uh, have a look at my review and uh, I'm sure you're going to like it if you like Middle Eastern type of perfumes, complex perfumes. And now, last but not the least, this is from the house of Mansera, and once again, it smells good, but it may be a little bit complex or difficult for some people to understand or for some people to digest. And here I'm talking about Crazy for Oud from the house of Mansera. And if we talk about the fragrance here, this is a perfume. with an authentic note of oud and not of bitter oud and there is some sweetness here i'm going to review this perfume very soon in the coming weeks so stay tuned until then but i can tell you something that if you like complex oud based with listen type of hard hitters then you are going to love it once again all these scents are extremely long lasting and they performs like a beast so this was uh, another list video uh, top 12 curated perfumes from my collection Uh, for people who like complex middle east type of scents i hope you liked it so until the next video take it and buy put your scent on and stay fragrant bye